So, Kim XTTS is a rather awesome and powerful text-to-speech engine for the Kim Skyrim mod. However, it has a bit of a problem, and that is it takes up 4GB of VRAM to run, which is a lot of power. And unless you have a supercomputer, or if your mod list isn't modded to all 9 divines, which I highly doubt, because mine is as well, you might have a hard time running XTTS on your own hardware. However, he has a solution, and that is to use the cloud. We can rent out a GPU so we can run XTTS while keeping our local machine free for an infinite amount of Skyrim mods. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video, and we're going to be using Vars.ai to set this up. So, let's get going. So, here we are on the Vars.ai website, and the first thing you need to do, obviously, is set up an account and put credits onto your account. The minimum amount of money you can put on is $5. Trust me, it will last you a long time. Once you put the credits on, you will simply need to go to Templates and search for Kim XTTS. And if we scroll down, you should see it somewhere down here. We'll also have a direct link to it in the description below. Click Select. And now we're going to filter this down to the RTX 3060 in a region near me and all we need is one gpu and you're going to be presented here with a whole lot of options with different price tags pretty much the more money you're spending the better the other components such as upload and download speed will be i'm going to go and pick this one in quebec one of the more expensive runs at 12 cents an hour and we are going to click rent and over on the instances menu, you should see yeah, your rented GPU or server is booting up with the Kim XCTS server running. It will take roughly five minutes or so for it to start up. Now, talking about the price. So, in this case, we're spending 12 cents an hour, but you can get them down to 8 to 10 cents an hour to rent out this GPU. Put that in perspective, well... For one dollar, you can get anywhere from nine to ten hours of XTTS audio. That is much cheaper than having to spend hundreds of dollars buying an RTX 3060, having to install it in your machine, and the electrical bills which come along with it. So this is a cheaper and easier solution. So we've given it a little bit of time, and we can confirm that yeah, the server is running. To verify uh, everything's running correctly, we can click the blue URL here and copy the IP address under open port and paste that into your web browser here with the slash docs ender. And if you see this page and the XTTS server is running, we just need to actually connect it with the Kim server. So my Kim server is already running and over in the configuration wizard under the default profile, we're going to go to Kim XTTS and we're going to replace the IP address with the one that we've got on our new instance. We're going to click check. And as you can see, it checks correctly. And then we're going to click the save button. And the configuration has been saved. We're going to go back down and click copy to all profiles under the endpoint. And also as well, make sure our TTS function is set to XTTS. And for good measure, click copy to all profiles. Now, there's one final thing we need to do. And that is configuration Kim XTTS management. You see, this is a brand new uh, Kim XTTS server, which is running. So if we click the current voices list, there's no voices, which is a little bit of an issue because we need voices for the voice server to work. Fortunately, especially if you use the Kim XTTS server in the past, all the voices are actually cast directly within the Kim Reb server. If we open this URL here, we can verify we have voice voice samples which we can generate. And all you need to do after syncing or connecting the Kim XCTS server running on Vast AI to the Kim server running is you just press this wrong button. And this will start syncing your voice cache over to the voice server and this will take a minute or two and after a little bit you should see a window like this appear confirming that all the voices in that cast have been uploaded to the xtts server and if we go back down to current voice list 
we can see that all the voices are now ready to go on that server. We can do a final check by selecting one of the characters which have a voice generated and test the TTS. And in Skyrim's play. land of snow and ice, where dragons soar and souls entwine. And we can confirm that it works. So now you can boot up Skyrim and enjoy using XTTS in the cloud without having to, well, downgrade your mod list. Now, the final thing you need to think about is what to do once you are done playing. Because we want to shut this down so we're not having to pay money. Well, there's two things you can do first one is that you can either stop the instance but stopping it means it's in standby mode and you're going to be charged storage costs every day because you have files uploaded to the server we don't want to pay money so instead we're going to terminate the instance and it will completely destroy it and you won't be charged any more credits and you might as well do this because we already have a one simple button which allows you to sync any server back up to where it needs to be. And that's everything. So we hope you have found this video tutorial useful and allow you guys to enjoy uh, the Kimex CTS server without needing to buy a graphics card in this current cryptocurrency boom. So take it easy.